On a cold and rainy night, I was sitting in the light of my switchman shack and my post on the mountain. The storm was pretty bad, and the telephone was dead, but it was just eleven hours till the dawn. Then much to my surprise, the telegraph jumped into life. As I read the code, I thought, could this be true? A train was on its way, headed up the mountain grade, but she didn't have no engineer or crew. At the other switch they tried to put her on the mountain side, but she kept on coming up the mountain grade. Well, I quickly doused the light to try and see into the night. Maybe I could spot her headlight in the rain. She was pounding down below. I could hear her whistle blow. And I thought, Lord, that's a high and mournful sound. Then the telegraph again. There's a cave-in at the mine. And a hundred men are buried neath the ground. Lord, she's coming now, I see, round the bend and straight at me, and her boiler's glowing red as coal in hell. The headlights switching wide, searching all the mountainside, but the only sound she's making is a wail. Then I recognized the train by the number and the name. It's the minor silver ghost, old 41. Then she vanished up the track by the lonely switchman shack, like a mother who was looking for her son. Now I heard the story how an engine went to glory over fifty years ago on this same line. It was steaming for a cave and there were men who needed saving, but it missed the curve and trestle near the mine. And every now and then you'll hear her whistle on the wind. If a mountain slides in, many men are lost. It's a high and lonely wail, and searching up and down the mountain, she's the train they call the Miner Silver Ghost. The train they call the Miner Silver Ghost. The train they call the Miner Silver Ghost.